Mizzou is a lot of people's dark horse uh, prediction for a surprise in the SEC Eastern Division. Our look at uh, the Tigers' schedule and record projection next on Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Talking Missouri football here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Please support the channel by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below. I can't um, emphasize how important that is to help us uh, continue to deliver more content and hopefully quality content. Best discussion, debate, and analysis in college football online that you will find anywhere. Uh, Grab the Amazon link. Do your regular shopping right there. Join us on our Voice of College Football community. So you go down to the link below. You can sign up for our Voice of College Football community. Do you want to talk college football directly with me? You come online and you talk with me directly uh, using that link. And also, we've got a one exclusive live stream that goes out each and every week where I respond to your comments, more than 42,000 to date this year. Thank you for your response. It's been amazing. Missouri football. Here's the look at uh, the Tigers uh, in 2019. Okay, non-conference, you got to respect uh, that they do schedule the one Power 5 game. It's a date against West Virginia September 7th after going to Wyoming. So some SEC teams scheduling more recently games against group of five teams on the road. That had not happened before, except for the Ole Miss-Memphis rivalry. That's been going on for years. Mississippi State's been traveling to group of five teams, like a South Alabama, like a Southern Miss. Some other ones in there for Mississippi State that don't come to mind exactly who it was. But they've scheduled some group of fives and traveled. Uh, Of course, we had Arkansas going to Colorado State last year and Missouri here. Uh, Vandy has gone to Middle Tennessee State in particular. So some of the lower echelon SEC teams venturing out to take on the group of five on the road. And Mizzou is doing that in Laramie against Wyoming. The Cowboys and the Tigers get it on August 31st. Then West Virginia, a game that I really like. I love these kind of matchups, Uh, the the under-the-radar Mid-tier teams in the big conferences going at it. West Virginia, Missouri on September 7th. All right, that game in Columbia. Then a date against a Southeast Missouri State on September 14th. All right. Then Mizzou jumps into SEC play September 21st with a date at home against a South Carolina. They've got an open date before Troy. Not necessarily the best uh, placement there for the bye date for Missouri, but September 28th against Troy. Uh, Troy on October 5th after the bye date. And then they take on some marginal teams in the SEC that they should beat. Uh, These are certainly not complete 50-50 toss-ups. Missouri should win the majority of these games. Uh, First, again, the South Carolina game at the end of September. Ole Miss on October 12th. Vandy on the road. Kentucky on the road. Open date before the most difficult stretch of the season. It's Georgia, Florida, Tennessee. Tennessee should be improved after a 5-7 and seven finish in Jeremy Pruitt's first year. Georgia on the road, of course, by far the class of the division. Florida, certainly the number two seed. So right now the SEC East looks pretty clear that it's Georgia, Gap, Florida, Gap. And then there's a fight between Mizzou, Kentucky, Tennessee, possibly Vandy, possibly South Carolina, Uh, to see who may challenge the top two. Of course, that can change. We thought South Carolina, many of us thought that they were the class, the second class after a nine win at 2017, and they fell off a bit. So Mizzou's got that final stretch again. Georgia on the road, Florida, Tennessee, before they go to Arkansas in what the SEC has deemed a rivalry game. Mizzou and Arkansas now always play, and uh, that's the cross-division rivalry, that game in Little Rock this year. So the non-conference slate, again, not too difficult, but there is a date against West Virginia, and the Mountaineers probably a little bit down. They lost a ton of firepower on offense after a really good team um, in uh, 2018. And then it's key in the SEC, who you play in the other division. Mizzou always plays Arkansas. That's been a benefit to them in recent years uh, since the Hogs have been down and then the other games against Ole Miss. So they play in the weaker of the two divisions, plus they play what are likely the two worst teams in the SEC Western Division. So it all adds up to the 10th most difficult schedule in the SEC or the fourth or fifth easiest, and it's number 17 in college football. It belongs to Missouri. 
Would love to hear what you have to say about the Tigers. My record projection for Missouri football right now. Not my final prediction, but right now I've got Mizzou going 8-4. and four. And a perfect uh, 4-0 non-conference, 4-4 four four in the SEC. The Tigers go 8-4. Would love to get your prediction on Missouri football right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We'll be back with schedule number 16 very soon.